Hi guys, it's HBOT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now on the table in front of me, we have three brand new sound devices. We have some active noise cancelling wireless stereo headphones. We have a wired computer sound bar and we have some active noise cancelling earphones. We have a triple threat of sound and it is coming right now. So let's get straight to it. Hi guys, like I said, welcome back to a brand new video. On the table we have three different products. Now I have left the links to all three of these in the video description below, along with some 20 slash 30, not too sure yet, for money off these products, all from Teotronics, who are today's video sponsor. Quick disclaimer, they were kind enough to send me these three devices, but as you well know on this channel, it would still always be an honest review. I will tell you the good points, the bad points, and then leave the decision up to you. So the three prices are, and remember these are all before the 20 slash 30% discount, 36 $6.99 for these earphones, $25.99 for the soundbar, and $49.99 for these active noise cancelling wireless stereo headphones. Right, so before we get onto these two, I'm going to jump onto the earphones first because if you follow me on my other social media accounts, Twitter and Instagram, you will know that I was actually working in Barcelona over the weekend and I took these with me to actually test them on the journey. Everyone knows that noise cancelling earphones or headphones are great on planes, for example, so I wanted to test them out. First of all, we're going to look at the actual build quality and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the sound. So very premiumly made. They have an aluminium alloy construction, as you can see on here, and the actual jack is made of gold plating. Then you have the actual noise cancelling bit here. So you have your charging port here, which is micro USB, and you have your switch to turn on or off the noise cancellation. So if we click there it's now off and then when you click it on it goes green and it obviously then begins now obviously it needs to be charged for the noise cancellation to work you can obviously use the headphones without so if you run out of charge you can still use them you just won't get that feature it's got 140 mAh battery inside and according to the website that lasts up to 15 hours now I can't verify that right now I will if you're interested let you know if you ask me in a few days time because I actually took these away without charging them so after doing some video editing in the airport I was delayed for a long time, furious. And then on the plane, on the way, it lasted that long, but then by the time I went to use them on the way back, the battery was done on them. Like I said, I hadn't charged them, so I do need to test that in more detail, and I will do over the next few days. You have your volume up and down switch on here as well. It does block out a fair bit of sound. Now, they're actually designed quite well with the buds here, as you can see, to actually fit in your ear quite nicely and block out a fair bit of ambient noise anyway. But when you actually turn it on, you get the little green lights come on on the sides here of the earphones. Little pie. And what happens is, in my personal opinion, while it doesn't completely block out all the ambient noise, it definitely does dampen a lot of the everyday sounds. So it becomes a lot more isolating and it actually seems to ramp the volume up a little bit as well. So you get kind of like a double whammy. Does it completely block out all the noise? Well, no, but it did for me anyway, seem to make the sound a lot cleaner and a lot more crisp as well as that added volume. It's fairly balanced. I was very impressed with the bass, very punchy and loud without being distorted. So I'm actually gonna plug these into my smartphone and, and try and let you listen with the microphone. It's not obviously gonna be as accurate as it could be, but it might give you some idea. There certainly aren't many earphones I've tried on the market that sound as good as this at this sort of price. Yes, you can spend 200, 300 pounds and get better sound, but that's not what we're talking about with these. One potential negative for these, and the reason why I say potential is because everyone will be different, different size ears, different shaped ears, and these do come with different buds, so you can obviously choose one that fits you best. If you're using them for two or three hours, you'll have absolutely no problems. They are very comfortable. If you're using them, because I was again, I was using them in the airport delayed, on the flight, and then transport to the hotel afterwards we're talking six hours it started to wake a bit in my ear so that's one thing just to know like i said if you use earphones for an hour to three hours you should be completely fine they are comfortable right so that's got the main sort of review out the way for the video because they're the ones i've tested the most but now we're going to unbox these two and i'm going to give you my overall first impressions so we are going to start first with the sound bar and we're going to pop this open and we're gonna get that out. 
Right, so what's pretty impressive about this device is the size. It's very portable and it's not gonna be garish at all in your living room or your office, wherever you're gonna wanna use it. So straight away you'll notice the actual build quality and the design and it looks very, very nice. I do like this sort of matte silver on here, more sort of gray. And then on the back, you've got a matte black finish with your ports here for a microphone, headphones, and your power port here. And of course your power cable is in here. You've also got your rubber feet on the bottom here to keep it in place. Also on this side we have our volume up and down which feels very smooth as it should but I just thought I'd say it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug it in and I'm going to connect up to my smartphone and play some sound from it just to give you an idea of how it does sound. Obviously you can connect it to a laptop, computer, smartphone, projectors, tablets using your two 3.5 millimeter connectors here. Right so we plugged it in and straight away that actually lights up there and I think that looks pretty cool and then I'm going to plug in my phone, find some royalty free music and I'm going to pop it on. So I found a website and I'm going to go with Funky Groove. Let's see what this is going to produce. Are you ready? Right, so that's over here. I'm now gonna put it up to the actual microphone because the microphone's up here and then I'm gonna turn it right up. It'll probably distort because it'll get too loud, but even from here, I'm sure you can hear that was quite loud. For 25 quid, remember. Thoroughly impressed, I think, for 25 quid. That gets my stamp of approval. Try one more track. This one's called Sexy. I'm a bit worried about what I'm gonna hear, to be honest. No, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna have to stop that. Ridiculous. But you get a good idea, you know, it's not gonna be the best sound you could possibly get, but it's 25 quid, and as you heard, that's pretty good. I think if you're in the market for a very cheap soundbar, laptop PC speaker, for example, that looks as premium and nice looking as that, I don't think I would hesitate personally. One negative that I can see, I don't think there's a, an on and off switch, so you have to either unplug it like so, or at the switch for it to turn off. I personally would like to see an on and off switch as well. Right, so the final product from Tailtronics is this pair of headphones here. Now I have actually noticed something, which is pretty funny. And I don't know whether this is just on my review unit that they've sent, I, I, I hope it is. Active nosy cancelling. Um, I know the sound quality of these is gonna be better than the spelling, but yeah. So these are of course nosy cancelling. <laughs> These are noise cancelling uh, wireless headphones. Let's just crank it open and see what they look like. Right, so in here. Okay, well that's a nice start. So you get a nice decent case, which is always helpful. Pretty solid, it's flexible. So if you're putting it in like a suitcase, for example, it's gonna give a little bit, but it feels like a fair bit of protection as well. So we open this up. And there we have the headphones inside. And like I mentioned on my review of the last set of Teletronics headphones that I got sent, they're one of these companies that seem to be able to produce a pretty premium product for a very budget price. You've got this Velcro to keep it in place, which is nice. Also you have your micro USB charging cable and a cable to actually use in case you run out of battery, you can obviously just plug them in as well. And you've got an adapter for a play. Right, so first thing tonight, before we get on to comfort, etc., they and they do feel, I mean, that feels very, very nicely cushioned, uh, is that they're kind of a bit of a halfway house. So they are a little bit bigger than most on-ear headphones and not quite as big as over-the-ear headphones. So these will probably just about rest on the edges of my ears. Now, usually that may be a bit of an issue in terms of comfort, but like I said, this feels very, very soft, very nice. I'm not sure if it is real leather or not, but it certainly feels as comfortable as real leather. And we'll just pop them on. And I know I probably look stupid wearing headphones when I'm recording a video. I may use these for the rest of my YouTube videos going forwards. No? So straight away, what the first thing to know is actually without even turning anything on, the actual noise isolation is pretty impressive. My voice is very muffled already. So in terms of noise cancelling, these I can tell straight away are probably gonna be better than the actual earphones. So before we actually set them up and listen to some music, comfort. So like I said, they do just about fit on the tops and bottoms. I'm gonna take them down now. Uh, they just about fit, I couldn't hear what I was saying. Just about gonna fit on the top and the bottom of your ears. And like I said, over time, I would like to see how that feels. But on initial first impressions, they are very comfortable. They, like I said, it's very spongy on these bits here. It's quite thick. There's a little bit of firmness to it so that it doesn't just flatten and then it just feels like you've just got the plastic 
bit here on your ear. Also in terms of head sizes, if you are a really large headed person, uh, that's my only concern is that I'm not too sure whether that would be enough for a really big head. But certainly from average heads and small heads, these are gonna be great for you. You know, when you press these two bits down, that's quite a small space and it does fit really snugly on the head. They don't feel wobbly. Often with headphones, for me anyway, I feel them a bit wobbly. I don't really like the feeling. These do feel very comfortable and snug. They also twist, so you go from flat to here. They don't twist all the way around, uh, but they also have a bit of give up and down as well. So again, in terms of that comfort for different head shapes, it should suit most people. You've got your volume up and down here and your micro USB charging port there. You've also got your power button there and you have your noise cancellation button here. So when you flick it, it goes to blue and that means it's on. So actually, I didn't even have the noise cancellation on when I was telling you it sounded quite muffled. In terms of quick specs, dual 40 millimeter drivers and they are ANC wireless headphones, CVC 6.0, noise cancelling built-in mic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Bluetooth these up to my phone and I'm going to test some music and try on and off with the noise cancelling as well to let you know the difference in sound quality. You basically press and hold the power button for the first time and then it goes into peri mode and then we'll listen to some music. And as you will be able to hear, these are a lot louder than the earphones. So like I said, I mean the headphones are gonna be nowhere near as loud as actually what they sound in real life, but you get an idea. The bass on these is stronger than the ones on the earphones, which are already quite good. The vocals sound a bit clearer, a bit crisper on the earphones than these. It's a little bit more muffled. So the mids and highs could be a little bit crisper in, in if I'm being ultra critical, but it is still a pretty good sound quality. Certainly if you're into your bass, these are very, very good. Very strong, very punchy bass. Definitely a big fan of that element in the headphones. That's not to say the mids and highs are very muddy. I'm just being ultra critical because that's what you want, right? In terms of the noise cancellation, it was very good with or without. I did notice a slight improvement when it went on, but even without, I couldn't really hear stuff going on around me. So noise cancellation with or without the actual switch going on, they are very good at doing that. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my triple threat haul from Teotronics. Like I said, I will leave all three products listed in the link below if you're interested in going through and getting any of them. And if you have any more questions, feel free to drop a message below and I'll try my best to get back to you. And if I don't know, it i'll try and find out from them and then get back to you as well let me know what you think about all three which is your favorite out of the three and what you actually look for in a product like these drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it and found it helpful dislike the video if you didn't like it and didn't find it helpful subscribe and hit that little notification bell if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time i post a video on anything tech pretty much daily content here on this channel i love you and leave you i'll see you in the next one so let's be on tv south